Have you ever wanted to speedrun a video game? I've been watching speedruns since I was a child, and never once did I ever actually try to speedrun. It always seemed like something out of my reach, something I wasn't born to do, or would ever actually succeed in. Until now. The day is April 21st in the year 2021. Derek Chauvin has been found guilty and the baby is still a convertible. Yeah, yeah. I woke up, got out of bed, and got on my Zoom classes. I was bored as usual, but then I remember something somebody told me. When you are bored, do something, then you will not be bored. So I did something. I went on itch.io and I searched for games. Came across many games. Some that I wanted to play, some I didn't. Some that scared me, some that made me cry. But only one would truly change my world. T Shrek 3D. This game is a modern masterpiece that deserves its own 30 minute YouTube analysis video on, but we're not here to dwell on that. Playing this game, I realized this game is short, like really, really short. Like I fell out of the map one time in this game and saw the size of the map and, it and I realized my school might've been bigger. I looked in the comments on the itch.io page and I found something that changed me. This video right here. This video ignited a flame in my heart. The second I watched this video, it ignited a flame in my heart, in my soul. Seeing this player round those corners with precision and beat the game in less than a minute? I knew that this was the moment. This was the moment in my life that I wanted to actually try and speedrun. This was the moment I told myself, I'm going to try and speedrun. So naturally, I did it. I spent all this time trying to figure out routes, optimizations, trying to make things look cool, make things seem cool. And then eventually, I did it. I did it. I beat their time. I finished with the time of 51.07. And now, at that moment, I was the coolest gamer. You know that feeling when you finish a really, really good anime? And you feel a little empty, but you still feel happy because it's such a good thing you experienced. That's how I felt getting that time. I realized that I finished. I did it. I accomplished a goal in my life that I always wanted to. But yet, I still wasn't satisfied. I wanted to go faster. Faster than 55, faster than 51. I wanted to try and break the sub 40 second barrier. And I actually did, but I don't know how to feel about this one to be completely honest with you. Cause actually I might've found an exploit that allowed me to break the 40 barrier and might actually break the 30 barrier too. The collision in T-Shirt works like a rapidly blinking light. When you're grinding up against walls, it's going to feel like it's bumpy, but in actuality, the collision is checking every single frame for if you were touching a wall or not. If done correctly, by going up against two adjacent walls, you can force the game into a state of checking the walls repeatedly, and this will guarantee a few frames for you to slip through. In combination with the form of movement discovered by Sanzu Chan, I used that with grinding up against the walls to be able to clip through many walls in the game. 
However, with just these clips, I would only reach times of 40. And to me, that wasn't good enough. I had gotten a 50. And using these clips would get me to a 40. But I wanted 30. I wanted lower. I wanted to go fast. Yes, my son! Go fast! Become the fastest! Exploring and testing around through the map, I found this area right here. Clipping through this wall using the rigid part of the fence and the wall allows you to go straight through and back to the beginning part. Now you think you'd be able to run straight through the wall and get to that part easily, but no. You'll fall into the void with no chance of coming back. And with this, you don't have to just reset your run, but you have to close out the game and open it back up. I gave up. I gave up on the skip, believing that it was impossible. But it wasn't, because I did this. I just got jiggy with it through the wall and just glitched through and made it back up somehow. From here I was pogging but like I just kept on going and went with my clipper out and made it to the final slice. I finished with the time of 33.57. Now this video that you just saw shows many errors in the routing, clipping, and just everywhere honestly but you know what I've done my part I have my time I have my proof and now I want other people to try I want you to try if you ever really want to try speedrunning go download T-Shrek it's 100% the easiest game to try in speedrun you may even beat my time I leave you with final parting words to remember the land of T-Shrek is still unconquered territory, and you can be its ruler. If you made it this far in this video, I just want to say thanks for actually sticking out. I'm never going to do anything like this ever again. I just got bored. I was supposed to be in my Zoom class in my third period. I found this game and I just thought it was funny, so I ended up getting a really good record with it. And I felt like I needed to make a YouTube like <laughs> I felt like I needed to make a Summoning Salt YouTube video. And you know what? This was fun. I just know I'm not going to do it again because this junk sucked and I hated doing it.